Hey everybody, welcome back to Rolling Through Life. My name's Wanda. And today's vlog is a kind of before shot of all my craft areas. Um, I'm doing a challenge with Haley B. Sparkle Stitch and Stick. I'll leave her link down below. Um, it's a challenge to clean up our craft area, or in my case, areas. Um, nothing's been moved for this video. The only thing I did move was medication bottles and I turned them so you didn't see the prescription. But that's the only thing I moved. So I'm going to uh, do the before video today. So I'm going to take you off the tripod and we're going to go through four different areas of my apartment. Okay, the first part is my living room desk. This is where I work for, with my um, crochet stuff. And as you can see right here, I don't even have room to lay a pattern. So this has to be cleaned up. I need to put some yarn away. I have finished products, projects I need to do, and I can't do it without the pattern in front of me. Um, yeah. There's another project I'm doing. And there's a bunch of like mail and stuff I need to go through. Some more yarn. Um, down here, it's even gotten to where the drawers are open holding stuff from falling off the desk. I have some products to review. I have to get that returned. So, yeah. And under my desk down here, that's a uh, 5D diamond painting stuff I have for my grandchildren um, but I gotta get them situated so that way when they get here they can just pull it out and do it and of course there's my stool but yeah this all needs to be cleaned up and put away actually I need to even see I even got yarn up here old candy that needs to be thrown out colored pencils and markers some more cotton um, yarn yeah so this all needs to be taken care of so let's head to the yarn closet okay this is my yarn closet this is uh, probably the best organized so far I mean there are some things that I need to put away such as uh, that needs to be conditioned and then put in plastic bag that needs to find a home. I need to put that back, put that back, put them back in. There's little holes there, and the top look still looks good. But yeah, this just needs a little bit of organization. This is the best of what's yet to come. Alright, this is the desk that I do my videos on. As you can see, I have some books that I took off my bookshelf that I need to find a home for some of the footstool materials just laying there my sewing machine Easter stuff yarn yarn is everywhere um, a towel that I was working on yeah my yarn ball winder and that's the apparatus that I use to film and unfortunately when I need to film everything gets shoved aside and some actually even fall down there so this needs to be cleaned up and the drawers are an absolute mess that I need to go through and get rid of some stuff and organize so this one's gonna be a day job um, the top is not too bad that took me about 15 20 minutes it's the drawers and under the desk I have a doll baby you know and some uh, papers I use for crafting my needle or my threads and of course towels and yarn so that's the desk area now we're going to go to the one that is needs the second amount of most work done okay this is where I keep most of my craft supplies as you can see the shelves are just I mean I just shoved stuff in there as I got done using it 
not really putting it away and I want to go through those materials and decide what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to just donate or give away or whatever I'm going to do with it. This is my Rascog cart. This was going to be used for current projects that I'm working on. That way I could roll it back and forth the living room to the bedroom. But as you can see, I ha still have Christmas stuff on there that needs to be put away. So it's just been sitting there. And here's some um, craft supplies for the Easter things I was making. Just laying in there. This was from my last yarn haul. This here is um, blankets that I took to the craft show. And a couple bins. These just need to be put in the closet where they belong for the next craft show. There's my granddaughter's blanket that I'm working on but I can't work on it no more because I lost <laughs> I lost the um, the tablet that had all the temperatures in it so I have to find that because I don't remember what day I stopped on so that's that uh, tablet is in the um, living room on the desk somewhere so I'll start working on that again. Down here are Buckeyes that still need to be drilled that I uh, got last year. So I need to get those drilled up strong and that way by September I'm ready for the first two games. <coughs> there are some crocheted balloons that um, I take to the craft shows. There's stuff in there from the craft show that needs to be put away. And of course, there's some scrap material that I was going to do the um, uh, crumb quilting with. That's right there. And down there is some more craft supplies that I picked up and just threw in a bin. And of course, I've got yarn that has fallen. Uh, yeah. And that suitcase, I think it's old clothes <laughs> that I need to go through. So, yeah, this part here will take me approximately two days to do. So let's do a quick scan of that. And I have under un, uh, storage under bed, under the bed that all that's going to go into because I don't think that's going to fit in my pantry. But we will try. So yeah. And I want to do better organization with this. Um, I'm ordering a couple of um, things from Ikea that I want to use to store some you know some of the small stuff I don't like these I don't like them because they stick they're hard to pull out I'm getting a whole new system for that but yeah that's what I have to work on in here and I can't even open my closet to put the clothes away so yeah this needs to be worked on So as you see, I have a lot of work to do, and I know once I get this done, I have till the 8th to get it done. So once I get this done, I will be able to be more productive because everything will be in its place, and I will have gotten rid of things that I don't no longer use. So, yeah, I am up for the challenge. Um, look up um, Haley B. Sparkle Stitch and Stick. She's a great um, crafter and vlogger. And wish me luck. Because there's a lot to do. I'm also going to be doing a time lapse video of each area. I don't know if I'm going to put it all in one video or kind of break it up throughout the week. But I will be doing a time lapse on each area that I uh, clean. So with that, I'm going to say goodbye and I'm going to get started. Because this is going to be a long six days for me. And luckily, I really don't have a whole lot to do in the next few days. So I can actually concentrate on this. So with that, I'm going to say goodbye. And, um, yeah, get started. So you guys have a great day. Bye.